Hey, it's Luke Lonian, and you're listening to 103.1 KFIL's Coach's Corner On Demand. And welcome back to Coach's Corner. With us now, the head coach of the Fillmore Central Falcons. It's Chris Mensing. Coach, how's it going today? Going well. Sorry uh, we missed you last week with those Saturday games. That's a different schedule, but good to be back. Yeah, great to have you here. Uh, last Saturday, you guys get the win over uh, BA 28-14, to and then a short week, you take on another tough opponent in Randolph. You get the win last night, 29-8. to Coach, 5-0 uh, and now on the season. Uh, take us through that matchup with the Rockets overall and how you thought the team played. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Uh, like you said, uh, short week of preparation, and uh, obviously uh, B.A. and Randolph, are they present a lot of different problems to your defense and, and a lot of different preparations. So uh, I thought our defense played an outstanding team game last night. Uh, we uh, had a little slow start in the first first quarter. We ended up, we deferred and kicked to them. They went three and out. Uh, in our first possession, it was one play, and they had an interception. Um and then our next, and then we forced another three and out, punted, uh, and that, or actually we tried to punt and snapped it over our punter's head and gave him a short field, and they took the early lead, eight to zero against us. So I uh, got down early, but then scored 29 unanswered points. Uh, uh, our next drive, we came back with a touchdown. Our kids responded very well, didn't get their heads down, but a seven play, 65 yard uh, drive uh, to get in the end zone there, and then the two point conversion was good. Dylan uh, hit Bryce Corson in the end zone, or. I'm sorry, Bryce carried the ball in the end zone for our first touchdown, uh, and then he ran it in in the two-point conversion as well. So it was 8-8 tie at the end of the first. High in the second quarter, Dylan hit Bryce Corson on a 49-yard touchdown play. Uh, short pass, but Bryce made a great run, broke a couple tackles, and, and took it to the end zone. And then we got the extra point there to take the 15-8 to eight lead uh, into halftime. Uh, receiving the ball in the second half, thought we probably played two of our best quarters in a row the second half last night, our kids, uh, our kids really executed. We didn't have any pre-snap penalties uh, that we kind of overcame there that first half. But uh, Dylan, Dylan hit Bryce on a on a 47-yard touchdown uh, to start the the second half, and then Atley hit the extra point, and then our final touchdown in the third quarter. Uh, Dylan hit Chase Christensen for 19 yards, and Atley had the extra point uh, for that 29 to eight final. A nice win there over Randolph, like you mentioned, 29 unanswered points against a very tough Randolph team uh, on the road, Coach. So you can go through those offensive numbers. We must be pleased that when you're putting up a, a game like that uh, against a tough opponent. For sure. Like I said, our defense played lights out last night. Mm-hmm. Uh, we held Randolph 24 yards in the rushing department. Uh, they were running the ball early on us a little bit. We made a little bit of adjustment, and I thought that uh, kept them pretty well in check. Our, our defensive ends did an outstanding job of containing that quarterback last night. It all starts up front, though. You know, on, on offense and defense last night, I thought, I thought our defensive line put pressure. Uh, their, their quarterback has a great arm. Uh, I think he can throw it 50 yards plus in the air. Uh, He's got a lot of good targets. Their line is, is big. they got a 6'8 and a 6'6 kid and a lot of, a lot of beef up front. But I thought our, our conditioning and our quickness up front uh, really did the job and put put pressure on him last night uh you know i can can't say enough about will parker and and gunner benson and uh henry lou and noah uh rothering and uh, the list goes on there those guys that uh, play up front um they just did a great job kyle or uh zach craig uh did i mention zach what, who else do we got here there were so many guys we got a good defensive rotation there in the front and and I thought they did a good job of that. And then on the back end, in the coverage, we kept people in front, didn't let them get behind, and made some tackles. Uh, so in the passing department, we did give up a few yards. We gave up 150 for 174 total on 51 plays that Randolph ran. So only giving up eight points when we gave them that short field and we snapped it over our partners that our defense really executed. And then up front on offense, again, our, our offensive line opened up some nice holes last night. Uh, we ended up with 69 yards rushing. We had a had a couple nice runs, uh, and then in the passing department, uh, Dylan did a, had another nice ball game. 17 out of 21, only four incompletions last night for 281 yards and four touchdowns. Uh, and of course, the one interception right away, his first pass, but uh, recovered well and spread it around to to many different guys last night. In the receiving department, we had Luke Hellickson uh, with a catch for eight. Kyle Daniels had a catch for five. Chase Christensen had four for 75. And the touchdown, Bryce Corson, seven catches for 134. Uh, and the three touchdowns, and Jake Fishbacher had a great ball game with four catches for 59 yards. And in the rushing department, um, 
Kyle Daniels carried the ball five for 15. Chase Christensen had a carry for 30, a big third down conversion on a reverse. Uh, Bryce Corson carried it 12 times for 38, and Dylan O'Connor carried the ball six times uh, for 14. Solid performance, like you mentioned, all around there. Defensively, you hold a tough Randolph team to just eight points and slow down their rushing game. Offense worked well, too. Uh, Coach, just an incredible performance, 5-0 and on the season. What have you been most pleased with uh, with this team so far uh, through the first five weeks? Well, I just I think, you know, these kids' preparation, they, they work hard all week uh, to prepare themselves. They spend a lot of time in the, in the film room and uh, at the practice field. They, they ask good questions. Uh, and they play well together. You know, it's, it's a team game, and and uh, I think our, our kids are, are bought into executing their job um, and spreading the ball around. I think teams are having a tough time defending us when you're when you're not one dimensional and you're able to do a lot of things and have a lot of a lot of ways and different spots you can go with the football. It, it makes it tough to, tough to defend. So uh, Dylan's doing a good job of making his reads and and spreading that ball around and taking what the defense has given us. Chris Mensink with us, the head coach of the Fillmore Central Falcons. Uh, coach, you got Kenny and Wanamingo next week. What do you expect to see uh, from the Knights? Uh, boys, they're, they're having a great year as well. they got a big quarterback. He's back. He started for him last year as a sophomore. Uh, they had some size last year. So, uh, yeah, it's going to present some other different problems for us this week. So it's our homecoming week. Uh, we're glad to be back at home after a, a long trip to Randolph and a long trip to Faribault over the last two weeks. So, uh, we're looking forward to that opportunity. It looks like great weather again this week. So uh, excited for that opportunity next Friday night. Chris Mensing with us, the head coach of the Fillmore Central Falcons. 5-0 and on the season. They took down Randolph last night, 29-8. to Have Kenny and Wanamingo at home next week, the homecoming uh, game there for Fillmore Central. Coach, anything else you wanted to add in here? You bet. want to thank Benjamin and Christy Keeney, Matt and Abby Hellickson, Troy and Janet Christensen, Matt Gulbenson, and Ruth Liu for the wonderful pregame meal, and the Parker... Parkers and Corsons and Springers, Craigs, Shopskis, and the Ristows for the post game meal. What a great atmosphere last night. Our parents always travel well. Uh, Randolph had an outstanding event last night. Their tackle cancer event raised over $48,000 wow. for the Randy Shaver Fund. So, Carrie 11 did a nice spot on them. And uh, yeah, the goal for the whole state was 400000 and they, they put up 48000 last night. So, Unreal. outstanding job by the Randolph community. We They were great hosts last night. Uh, also, want to Wish our fifth and sixth graders good luck this morning. They're at home in Harmony at 10 o'clock. If you're not doing anything this morning, go out and watch them play the Wabasha Kellogg Falcons. And our third and fourth graders get their action started this morning with their flag football. So it's uh, been a great week at Fillmore Central. Absolutely. Again, Chris Mensing with us, Coach. We appreciate the time. Thank you so much. And good luck next week. Yep. Thanks, Luke.